Today, uh, I am pleased to join you at this important ceremony of launching the Agricultural Policy Analysis and the Capacity Development Program. The inauguration of this uh, program is a result of a collaborative effort between the government of Rwanda and uh, IFPRI. I would like first to commend the International Food Policy Research Institute under the leadership of Dr. Schengen Fan for the strong partnership with Rwanda. The launch of this program, which aims at enhancing capacity for ev evidence-based policy and capacity development, is yet another indicator of your commitment towards ending hunger and malnutrition. Back in May 2019, IFPRI launched its Global Food Policy, Food Policy Report 2019 here in Rwanda. The government of Rwanda still commends this report with its evidence-based facts showing the urgency of rural revitalization in order to sustain food security in a rural area and in the countries in general. Under the Compact 2025, initiative for ending hunger and undernutrition by 2025, Rwanda, as one of the focal countries of this initiative, in collaboration with IFPRI, worked together with uh, different stakeholders to set priorities and identify action gaps. One of the actions identified was to set up a program that can provide the country with evidence-based policy research and the capacity development in agriculture sector. It is thanks to this productive collaboration that we are launching this program today. The successful implementation of this Rwandan program will be very instrumental for our country in achieving the SDGs number two. As you know, this goal seeks solution to end hunger achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. This program will also complement our efforts in accelerating progress in ending hunger and malnutrition. Our aim is to ensure that all Rwandans achieve their full potential as a healthy and productive member of our society. Distinguished guests, as you know, in our national strategy for transformation, NST1, 2017-2024, the agriculture sector is projected to grow at an average rate of 5.7% per year. And last year, 2018, it increased by 6%, contributing 1.6 percentage points to the overall GDP growth rates. The agriculture sector is therefore an important driver in Rwanda's transformation from a low income to a knowledge-based economy and a middle income economy. To accelerate the implementation of the agricultural agenda set forth in uh, NSC1, in 2018, the government of Rwanda adopted the fourth strategy plan for agricultural transformation known as uh, PSTA4. It aims at transforming, transforming Rwanda's agriculture from a sub, subsist, subsistence sector to a knowledge-based value-creating sector. This will contribute to the national economy and ensure food and nutrition security. The successful implementation of the fourth strategic, strategic plan for agricultural transformation requires collaboration between various stakeholders and partners, alignment of programs and investments, as well as mutual review and accountability mechanism. We are pleased that uh, the agriculture policy analysis and the capacity development program was developed in this spirit of partnership. We are also confident that it will achieve its target. This 
This is evidenced by IFPRI's vast ex experience over the years in implementing similar programs in various countries. Distinguished guests, as I conclude, I would like to thank once again IFPRI leadership and the European Union for partnering with, uh, with us in implementing our agricultural transformation agenda and for the continued collaboration in our development journey. On this note, I hereby declare the program officially launched. I thank you so much for your kind attention.